unbelievable game. Um, really, really well coached opponent that we just played. Uh, I'm super proud of my team. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I've been in a lot of college basketball environments, and that was that was electric, man. It was. I know it's St. Patty's Day. I know they were down to 300s getting after it today, but man, they, I, I could hear before the game. I could hear students walking by my office, trying to get into the door that was locked. Annoyed they couldn't get into the door, talking, yelling, screaming on the way in. I knew it was going to be electric. Um, it was an awesome atmosphere to play in, and, and, and I don't know what else to say about these guys. Um, they, have, they have just shown up to battle every single game, win or lose, and stayed together. And, um, you know, I said this the other day, I'm just not ready to stop coaching these guys. I have a question. Um, yesterday, it was a real grinder of a game. And it seemed to me, my, my, image, my, my impression was that you guys were a little tight, not to the point where it was a detriment, but just naturally it's your first NCAA tournament game. You, you survived it. Today, you looked so much freer and looser right from the start. And the shots were comp you were confident in shooting. Did you guys feel a difference in your, in your demeanor on the court? Um, I just felt like we had a, a week off, so he was kind of like a little rusty for that first game. But after we got that out, I feel like we was all just connected. We were just moving the ball and just paying aggressive. And that's what just happened today. Yeah, I agree with Ro. Just having that week off and then having our first game back. And then today we're just ready to go. And I think it was, a, to add to that, I think it was a, a big part of two opponents that knew each other really, really well. Um, good scouting, you know, third time you play somebody, we were getting after it. and. and uh, you know, I think the ball bounced a, a couple of ways for us, and we made a few shots late, made some plays late. So um, that, that was a, you know, yesterday was a battle, and today was a battle too. But we, we shot the ball really well and uh, moved it really well, and uh, you know, it feels real good to be sitting in. Coach, 17 threes today. Uh, was the game plan to just try to light it up as much as you could from beyond the arc, or is that something that they, they showed you that you were able to take? Man, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Um, no, it, w it wasn't necessarily a game plan. I mean, I think we felt like we could attack them um, and play into out. Uh, that's been something that we try to do anyway. Um, you know, we've got a team that has shot the ball at a really high clip all year long, and we got a lot of guys that we could put out on the floor that can do it. Um, it's the type of team I want to have, and it's the nature of the game now. I mean, you know, we all watch it. It's the nature of the game. So. Um, you know, when we take good threes, I, I'm very confident what these guys do when we take good threes. And then when we throw the ball inside of Nolan and we throw the ball inside of Seb, when they go one on one, fine. When somebody comes at them, they're unselfish and they get the thing backed out, uh, kicked back out from from the inside to out. And we get good threes up. And tonight they win it. Uh, when you started the game, I think you scored the first six or seven points for the for the team. Um, did you feel that you know you were stepping into a more of a leadership role today, and was the was the goal for you to you know score inside to free up the outside? Yeah, I think that's always part of it. Is if I can score inside, it gives guys easy shots for threes. Just because defense have to focus on me more. Um, but really, just like early on, team they, everyone was finding me for some easy points. So I think that was just part of it. Guys were leaving me, and they found me for some easy drop downs. Well, you were one of the two guys that hit four threes tonight. Obviously, as Jack mentioned, you hit 17 as a whole. What does it do for your mentality when the rim just looks like it's seven or eight feet wide? You guys are getting a foot of space and knocking it down. Just um, mm -hmm. I don't want to say easy, but but what is it like mentally going through a game like that where they try to you know get it to 12 or 10, but you guys bury a couple triples and push it back to you know, 16, 18 points? Yeah, like, I don't know. When I was, like getting that flow, I don't know. Like, I just feel like just getting them up, honestly. I feel like any shot I take is good. But we actually played a lot of uh, very unselfish today. We was moving the ball a lot, got open shots, but that would help. So I thought like that was really it. We just moved the ball well. Obviously, you guys have played against Dan in the season, um, so it was a relatively unfamiliar team to play against. <coughs> How did you prepare for that? And this question for all, for all three of you. Um, we scouted them, or the coaches scouted them. So we just came into practice today, just locked in. Looked at their, all their offensive plays, what they like to do, their tendencies, and we just took it from there. We just locked in, tried to get rid of like certain plays that we felt like was going to hurt us on defense, and we just did our best to just try to, uh, um, what's it called, just like deflect like all their offense, kind of. Yeah, and just like adding on to that, really focusing on guys' tendency, tendencies and like what they like to do, whether they go left or right, shoot or non shooter, that type of thing. So I think that was big for us, knowing that going into the zone. Late night, early morning. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so you two players transferred in here from Division One um, schools. Um, 
what's the, what's the transition been like for you? You're now getting more minutes, being part of a system, and now winning for a program, and playing now some big games, meaningful games in March. What's it been like? I mean, it's been great. I've had a ton of fun this year. It's been a lot, I really enjoy my teammates. It's been a great experience for me so far. Yeah, last year was more like a learning experience, you know, coming to a new environment. But this year, I feel more comfortable, and I trust the coaches and all my, all my teammates. So it's just been real fun, like Nolan said. I've just been enjoying the experience. Coach, we, uh, we've talked a lot about the shooters for Southern New Hampshire and back to Henderson. And we saw a lot from Grant these last two days, and we saw a lot from your big guys tonight. Is there uh, something you can focus on with Sebastian Anderson continue to grow and, and Nolan getting ready for that matchup down low on Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, I trust these guys, you know, and, and uh, you know, Sebastian's been coming along. He's, he's been in and out, you know, with some injuries and stuff, so he hasn't been able to be consistent. But every time he's been in and playing, you know, for a period of time, he's just kept getting better and better. Um, and Nolan's done the same thing. I mean, from, from the get-go, we knew Nolan was going to battle and he was a warrior in there. And, um, you know, front court players, Get, get the, the crap kicked out of them, for, a, for lack of a better way to put it. And uh, and these guys just, they just do yeoman's work. They go at it, they put their hard hats on, and they do what they got to do. Um, you know, I mean, it's no secret. I mean, we're playing a really, really good team. I mean, you don't get to the regional final, the Sweet 16, without being really good. Um, we're playing a really good team, a really well-coached team. And, and, you know, we're excited to go play the game. I mean, they, I'm sure they are too. Um, this will be our fourth game against those guys. Um, and uh, but we're playing at home, and if it's anything like it was tonight, uh, Tuesday night should be a little wild. I want to talk about that environment because uh, you you sent the video out on social media asking for the students to get back here early. Showed up a little bit yesterday, really showed out a lot today. But you're going to have everyone back on campus presumably for for Tuesday, and uh, we saw you walking off the court, you know, getting hype with the guys. Uh, what is it like for you to to see the response from the students and uh, and? and pack this gym the way that you have dreamed of doing in your first four or five years here? Yeah, it's tremendous. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. When I got the job here in my first day, the two highlights of my first day were when I walked in here for the first day that I was on the job. It was in August. I think it was the 7th of August. And Coach Brennan from UVM met me here, and I had no idea he was coming. And he just came. And I've known him, obviously. We played against him when I first got into the business. And, and he just welcomed me, and, and it's like, anything you need, and all that stuff. And that was great. And the second thing that was the highlight of the day was when I was done making phone calls and doing what I was doing at about 8 or 9 o'clock at night, I just went up and sat in the gym. I just went and sat there for a few minutes and looked and just tried to visualize and honestly, it sounds cliche, but manifest like this is what we want it to look like at some point. Didn't know when, didn't know how, but that was day one. Um, you know, what these guys have done to get it to this point is, is just such a special, special thing. Um, They've done it selflessly. They've done it with late nights and early mornings, and they've done it with knee injuries and sore backs and six-hour bus rides and, and all that stuff. And they do it, and they do it with a smile on his face. When we can get Roe to smile, they do it with a smile on his face. <laughs> job not um, finished. Yeah, it's not. It's not. not. But they do it, and they do it, they do it all consistently. And it's like anything else in the world, man. If you show up and you're consistent with your effort, good things are usually going to happen for you. So for this school, First time you've been in the Sweet 16 since 2001. You have a chance to do something that hasn't been done since 1965. Can you put any of that into perspective for us for what it's like to be a Purple Knight at this time? Fellas, special. You know, just making history. I'm just glad to be a part of it. Yeah, definitely special. It's really cool to see, like, a bunch of faculty members and teachers telling us they haven't been to a game in 20 years, like, since that one season. So it's really cool to see people that haven't been to a basketball game in a while coming out to support us. And I think it's been unbelievable for the community too. You know, we're getting students here. We're getting, like these guys said, we're getting. I mean, our, you know, Ed, our bus driver comes. Like he's driven us all over the East Coast all year long. Like he's here. You know, we've got family and friends showing up. We got people watching us in Canada. Friends of ours that you know that came down last night couldn't be here tonight. Like it's 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 a testament to this place because when you need someone to come out and support you, this is the type of place that does that. We just happen to be getting that support in the basketball court winning some games, but that that happens at St. Michael's. That's what St. Michael's is. Any more questions? Obviously a tough team to play on Tuesday. What's the prep going to be like between now and then for you guys? Late nights and early mornings. <laughs> <laughs> Why change it now? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. No, we'll, we'll watch the film and we'll figure out what we did well and what we didn't. And from the last game, is probably a lot more that we didn't do well. Um, and, and, you know, be ready to make some adjustments just like they will. And, you know, come play in a, a tremendous college basketball game on Tuesday night. 
Get it back in blood. Yep. Mm-hmm.